today the Chevy Cruze is in need for a little TLC as you can see engine oil we're gonna do that so stay tuned all right so this video serves more of like a uh, update from the one I posted last year first off Follow the link I posted in the description to go to uh, the Cruise Talk forums. And it explains why you're going to want to use this UPF 64R filter. Now, the second thing is 2016 to 20, 2016 and 2017's call for 5W30 and the 18 and 19's call for 0W20. So keep that in mind. Always check your owner's manual and check your cap. And I'm still going to advocate for this Valvoline modern engine. Um, and back to the filter. I said on my other video that you could only get this at Amazon. Uh, not true anymore. I bought two of these from Rock Auto. And they were like $6.63 a piece. And these are for synthetic oil. Uh, and now they're black. The one I bought last year was blue. Get them from Rock Auto. That one I got from Amazon had a janky box. But anyways, same thing applies. Ratchet with a 15 mil. If you have one of these, cool. I have one, doesn't even fit this. <laughs> and a drain pan. And on to the rest of the video. Everything else is the same. Just remember, follow that thread I have posted and Get this UPF 64R. That's what the manufacturer now recommends. That thread that I, that link I will post in the description tells you why. Go there, read it thoroughly. And now, on with the video. So first things first, we're gonna crack the cap, get a little ventilation, pull the dipstick out. So, right on your, uh, passenger side of the vehicle go under here and get some illumination here you'll see there is the cartridge or the um, canister type oil filter this isn't like the uh, previous generation cruise where they had the cartridge filter this is a classic spin-on filter and your drain plug Oh, you can see it in the shot, but I'm trying to reach my hand back here. Is... Oh, come on. Right here. There she is right there. 15 millimeter socket. Now, as I'm uh, letting this oil drain out, I'm going to show you another little deal. This uh, oil plug has a, a tar uh, Torx... Uh, inset there and I found it matches up with a uh, T45 bit so that's another way pretty clever Let's say you, you rounded off your the nut there you could always uh, your backup could be put the T45 in there be slick we're getting uh, down to the end there now as you notice, I do not have a Delco filter on that. And this all came to light recently with that uh, UPF 46 filter. Um, How's it going? Good, how about you? Want anything? Uh, no thanks, I'm good. The um, cruise forums mentioned this filter. So that's why um, it's always good to do some research on your vehicle before you start working on it. Um, I had stopped taking this to the dealer when we ran out of our free oil changes. And believe it or not, the filter I pulled off here was a PF46. So I went ahead and got a uh, Wix XP. But... Um, I will link to this discussion in the description and they say it's not detrimental to the engine but uh, 
I'm telling you, from now on, I'm buying this damn thing from Amazon. So, you know, I like to take this out, clean it up, set it aside. Another thing I do is uh, take my oil filter, write the date and the mileage on it. Car has 10,195. Just kind of so you know when the last time you change the oil, next time you pull the filter out. Next thing I'll do is uh, now that this filter faces completely up like this, we can fill this full of oil completely full. Put a little oil around the gasket there. Shiny chrome dome will stay out of the way here. Let the center fill up. Let her settle down. Take a little of that oil and put it on the gasket right there. This will make for removal next time easier. All right, so I'm trying to point this in from the driver's side. So we can get a good shot of the filter. Alright. Going to get this pan out of the way and put this drain plug back in. She's still dribbling a little bit. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. All right, if the camera picks it up, this is the filter right here. And she's stubborn. All right, I got her loose. So we can get the pan over here. Give her hell. Woo! I always put cardboard under my pan as well. Boom! All right, let me clean up my hand here. Now that that's drained, put that out of the way a little bit. It's dripping a little bit on the floor, on the, I'm sorry, the cardboard. And if the camera's picking this up, I'm wiping off the flange where this goes. Still dribbling a little bit. But I have my filter, new filter right here, ready to go in. A little bit of oil got on there. We'll just wipe that up. Get it decent so I can give it a good quarter inch, or I'm sorry, a quarter rotation here. All right, she is on good. We'll clean up any excess oil there. And now time to fill the engine. Now that we did that, I'm going to get my nice clean funnel. I always put a rag down inside my funnel to keep dust and all that from getting in there. And 4.2 quarts.
lift that funnel up a little bit. There's a little stopper right there and if you have it all the way in there it'll prevent the oil from going in the engine. We're gonna pause here. So now we are down to one quart remaining in this five quart jug. Time to push in the dipstick. shot there Ooh, it looks like we're right on let's get that up to the light beautiful so I'm gonna throw the cap on start the engine and check it again we're probably gonna have to add a little bit more Okay, ran that till the oil light turned off. And as predicted, we got to add about a quarter of a quart. This won't see. Okay. I suppose four point two five is a four and a quarter. We added four, it would make complete sense. Trying to read this. Difficult on clean oil. <laughs> Ironically, if this was filled with dirty oil, you'd be able to see the level on there. I'll give it one more shot. We are golden. So we're all buttoned up. Next thing to do, aside from closing the hood, we need to reset this sucker. It looks like I need to calibrate the compass. See, I went, I pressed the button on the end that took me to the MPH, then I hit menu again. Now see it says, press check to reset. Man, we let that go down to 3%, that's bad. Don't ever do that. Change it at around 20%. We're never doing that again. Here we go, press that. Are you sure you want to reset? And then scroll up to yes, press the button, boom, we're back at 100. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed this and found this helpful, give me a thumbs up. Where's the thumb? There it is, give me a thumbs up. Check out my other videos. Do me a favor, hit subscribe. I know I'm not a big channel, but uh, trying to help out where I can and have a great day we'll see you in the next one thanks for visiting